I use CX X mark to, <laughs> to, right? to edit my photos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, here you go. <laughs> Windows version CSS marks like yeah. oh my god. Okay, starting on Stadium. Shout what else is new, guys? Shout out to the Microsoft Paint Man. Rest yeah. in peace. Anyways, we're just quarters here, so one step away from getting game five situations. But nonetheless, CSS Mark will be fighting Muffin Mars. Two different wolves, of course, K9 versus, uh, versus CSS Mark. See how, I'll see how Muffin is able to handle it. Immediately starts off with a neutral air. Okay. CSX Marks definitely. It feels like compared to K9, more uh, aggressive in your face. Really wants to try and push that space and that limit and test Lucas's frame data, especially in boxing as an air to air, than uh, K9 was doing earlier. I feel like. It looks like Muffin is kind of getting overwhelmed by it too, but he uses that jump there to make it back to the stage. It's a very quick option and it makes people that are just standing there. Oh, the trade! It makes people that are just standing there very unexpected. You kind of have to be waiting for it, and even then, because of Lucas's drift and how fast he falls after the Zare, it's kind of hard to punch it out of shield too. Oh, and he caught him in the roll going for the PK fire there, and immediately good dash dancing coming off the mark. He was in the down throw, and he really oh, liked the space again, looking to see how Muffin from Mars is going to get up on the ledge. But has some pretty good options. He's been going for that Zare, so that's kind of like a CSX Mark's opportunity to understand. He's, if he's going to go for Zare from the ledge, the way he kind of played towards K9, I need to start getting the punishes on it. He nearly gets the, the parry. Kind of showing signs of life that, hey, I understand my opponent's option there and what he's going to be going for. It. Parry shown sign, but of course, that's the thing about the side B from Wolverine. Doesn't auto step the ledge. That down smash is able to take care of the landing. Yeah, so all of a sudden, Muff from Mars starts figuring out, okay, this is the tempo that he's going to try to display this match in. I'm going to be fine. A high recovery, I like it. Uses the PK Thunder to protect himself. Makes him go in the shield just enough for him to come back to the stage. Right. We want to talk about the conditioning here for CSX Mars, right? He has yet to find an opportunity for against Muffin from Mars, right? But he only understands his landing options. Muffin from Mars kind of starting to look to condition Mark, especially at the ledge. Dash attack comes in. Oh, that's enough. Man, my man got yeeted to the blast. I should have held the DI because <laughs> that's what it looked like at that situation. Uh, we see the first blaster come out. This time he's uh, starting to use it a little bit more on the second stock, trying to mix up his neutral options and keep Muffin from Mars. Uh, guessing. Okay, going to go for the high recovery. Catches him on the PK Thunder. Back throw into dash attack. Back throw. Nice. Yeah. Doesn't get the kill. But yet again, though, edge guard face coming out here. Of course, the classic coming out from Muffin from Mars. Going for the PK Thunder. Of course, that side peep. It's pretty, you're only, you're only, but your best hope there coming out from horizontal. Yeah. I think... Uh, something that players can change from their Smash 4 habits into their um, ultimate ultimate habits is that a lot of times people they'll mash jump to get out of hit stun when they're off stage, but you can do directional air dodge instead. That time around, it looked like Mark um, jumped immediately to get out of hit stun instead of pressing a button because that's worse now in this game. But if he directional air dodge, he was still in the high zone, so he would have been able to act out of it. That time he just couldn't make it back because he didn't have a jump. So just a matter of like saving your resources. Oh, almost gets that tech chase there with the down smash. But Mars sets up again the PK Thunder, and that will be able to armor to not get a kill though. Pretty deceptive there on the critical hit. All right, kind of holds back with that double jump, that back throw. That will be able to take it for Muffin, get the edge guard face for him, and he's a PK fire to boot. Yeah, that's just kind of tough in general, but you know that's what you have to do against a character like Wolf. Once he actually starts his up B or his Wolf Flash, it's kind of pointless. You can't it, yeah. It's pointless to try and actually uh, challenge it, but you got to catch him on his drift on the way back to the stage. He's far out enough, and he's forced to either use a jump, drift down, trying to get the safe low recovery, and at that point, you can just snipe them on the way down. Yeah, and like I said earlier, right, Wolf Flash doesn't always accept the ledge, right? So if you got the right move planned out, PK Fire, something like Link Bomb, Grenade from Snake, you can actually call out that Wolf Flash. Mm -hmm. We're going right back into it. I think Mark is... Okay, here's what I'll say. I feel like between uh, K9 and Mark, Mark went in that match a lot faster tempo than K9 did, yeah. but he didn't know how to change the tempo once the, once, the the once the flow of the match started going to Muffin's favor. Right. It looked like he set, kept trying to go back quickly in reversal and stuff like that, and just kind of made it difficult for uh, him to actually start retaining back a lead. It just kind of steamrolled into Muffin's favor. Exactly. And when you look at the ebb and flow for K9, right, he kind of played that matchup very slow, very a little more calm. He didn't use Blaster here and there. Just tried to immediately set up edge guards as well. That's kind of the different breeds of wolf mains we have here in SoCal. Mm -hmm. Every wolf plays the same and immediately tries to set up the PK freeze. And I like the fact that he kind of holds it back there, doesn't want to get it reflected at all. And if that would have connected, man, that would have given Wolf the blast on nonetheless. I feel like ice is the hardest element to get out of. 
for sure. I have no idea. I, well, I mean, there's very few moves that freeze in this game. Yeah. <laughs> PK freeze is definitely very hard to get out of. Yeah. I've died as early as 60 because I wasn't paying attention to how hard I was mashing, and I was like, oh, wow, I'm dead. Yeah. Immediately, just Mario just trying to call in Muffin from Mars, rolling in options. And I respect that too because that's what Muffin from Mars is trying to do get back on the stage, trying to hit him with an opportunity here, and he's just trying to make those call outs. Yeah, Mark is just trying to hit this guy, and it's not quite working out. I mean, this this is where Luke's excels, just like frustrating your opponent and not figuring out where to go in. Great and space, PK fire too. Exactly. Just stayed right outside the range. Not much Wolf can do about that, really, because he has that blaster, but if the PK fire is already out, or is already in startup, then most of the time it'll come out already, but that time, using the blaster is keeping him off stage. But again, not sure how to approach. He gets attacked on... A little damage, but he's not even able to get these big hits that he needs to take the stock. Alright, Mark trying to go towards center stage. You must have 151, 140, 157 now. I like the fact that they try to probably sign Magna that will blast with Ash Tack. Won't kill Muffin with great DI now this time. Okay, I got the low recovery. Making uh, Mark a little bit hesitant. That's what I'm talking about. That Zare is so fast. It just makes it so difficult. If you're not ready for it, if you're not holding shield already, you're probably going to get clipped by it by the time you see it coming out. You can, uh, Muffin from Mars actually told me you can double jump cancel Zare. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's a pretty ridiculous amount of combos that you can do with it. Yeah, you can chain Zares together. Mm -hmm. Gets a down smash. I like the fact they kind of angled it because it's that hitbox is pretty deceptive. Gets the PA freeze the Wolf able to power through it. Oh no, and he wasted the Wolf Flash trying to come back on the ledge. Should have gone for the up B instead. Yeah, Muffin. Muffin looking like he's taking a trip to winter semis right now. I'm telling you, man, this kid has been up. on the rise. Orders. I like it. Wolf immediately just changing it back to the platform. Try to go for I feel like he be reversed the blaster there, but he wasn't even going to hit. Yeah. It's a good mix-up tool, especially, but I feel like most people use it um, as a mix-up tool when they're not in the disadvantage state. At that time, it looked like Mark was trying to get out of it, and it didn't quite work. It works better when you're pressuring your opponent. Gets the down air, and he gets the forward smash. Okay. Muffin nods, but he knows he's got a comfortable lead. I feel like he's very comfortable right now. Oh, gets a fourth throw. Edgeguard face for Muffin there, sets up the PK Thunder, and he finally gets the reflect going off. This is Edgeguard back into Mark's hands. Here, what's one thing that Mark needs to understand, right? That he's condition he should condition himself to understand what's gonna be Muffin Mars recovery. We talked about it, right? This is there from the ledge, right? If he's able to place himself, you get the punish there, able to go in with that forward and Mark slowly right in the momentum here. Almost feels himself too much with the grab with that back throw. We'll bring Muffin from Mars into the edge card phase himself. Yeah, I think just in general, um, as we approach the, the potential end of Mark's next stock, it just looks like that every time he puts himself finally in an advantage state to try and get a juggle, Muffin is just so good at either calling out the drift or the oh. roll. Yeah, and that time around, yeah, Muffin is also, a, when he's in defense, he's so good at making you assume his drift and then drifting back enough or mixing it up enough where it's, oh yeah, uh, it's, over, yeah. where it's enough for him to come back and uh, return to new.